Hello, my name is Orla Stevens and I am a visual artist based in the Trossachs National Park here in central Scotland. I focus on connecting people to nature and the outdoors through abstract painting and drawing and illustration. And I wanted to take you on a walk up this hill. We're going up Ben Gullipin to introduce you to my methods and to plain air sketching. I'll be covering why I love it, um, how you can get started, everything you'll need for a lightweight um, light pack sketching session and going into my tips and tricks along the way. If you'd like to have a concise version of this video um, and an illustrated route map of the trip that we're going on, I will have that all on the notes section of my website which you'll be able to find at www.orlastevens.com which I will link to down below. So yeah, I am excited to get outdoors um, and bring you along with me. So here we go. Plein air translates from the French to mean outdoors. So all this is, is getting outside and sketching. I use this way of working as a research tool to gather inspiration to inspire future works back in the studio. What I really love about sketching outside is that it really makes you slow down. Oftentimes when I'm doing a hill, it's get really easy to get carried away of just getting aiming for the top of a mountain. Whereas when you're sketching outside on smaller walks, it just makes you slow down and appreciate everything a little bit more. So the reason I like to have a really lightweight pack for sketching outside is because I like to do longer walks and longer trips. And to be honest, I just don't want to carry a lot of stuff when I'm doing that. And so what I tend to do is I tend to have in my hand when I'm walking, I'll have just a piece of paper or a couple of pieces of paper and probably just one or two materials. So a charcoal and an oil pastel. And this lets me gather things as I'm walking. So I'm just taking visual notes as I go. And it just lets me have really, really quick sketches to scribble down. And then I often have a bench in mind or a point in mind where I want to sit down and spend longer capturing a whole view or a larger scene with more detail, more time spent. And then I'll maybe get out some paints and some more mediums and materials to combine together and just spend a little bit more time on it. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna get out some paper and some charcoal and then we'll get walking again. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is called Puddingstone Rock. It's the local rock, um, which a lot of the houses here in the Trossachs are made of. And it was originally mined in a quarry not far from where we are just now. But it's got all these gorgeous colours and textures and shapes. Look at the, the forms here. So that is some really beautiful um, drawing inspiration right there. You'll have to forgive me. I'm a little bit more out of breath than I would like to be. I would like to admit it's been a couple of months of very sedentary work. I've been prepping for a solo show I've just launched in Stirling in the Talbot Gallery and I've had a lot of sedentary design and illustration work on the go too. So I haven't been outside moving as much as I want to, which is part of the incentive to start off these videos because it's prioritizing getting back outside again which I need a lot more of in my life at the moment. 
So the reasons I absolutely love plein air sketching, sketching outside, it's really simple. I love it because it's good for my health, gets me moving. I love it because it's good for my head, calms me down. The combination of art and the outdoors is not one that you're gonna regret. So I can't recommend it enough. And it's good for your heart. And it is a lovely way to get drawing with no pressure, lots of fun, lots of play. And yeah, there's not really many things better in life, to be honest, than going for a walk and doing some sketching. Um, the only thing that makes it better is doing it with friends. You'll notice here that I am really not looking at my page very much. And this is so, so important. What we're trying to do is we're trying to retrain our eyes and our brains to like learn to see more. We're looking to increase our awareness of our surroundings and notice more details in nature. And we're not gonna do that if we're just buried in our page, obsessively trying to capture the perfect drawing. So when you're out and about sketching, really try not to care what you're drawing and what it looks like and the results, because what we're doing is we're capturing all of these memories and looking really, really closely at the landscape. And that is a surefire way to improve your artistic style, your creativity, fuel your ideas. And that is really at the heart what we're trying to do here. Another really lovely way to abstract the landscape is to simply sketch the skyline or the horizon line that you can see. So here I am, I've been sketching Ben Leddy, which you can see on the way up Ben Gullipin. And I, you can see in this little sketchbook that I've made, I've been just tracing really, really quick sketches of the horizon line. And I love making these little books to take out on walks. So I will make a video in the future which goes over how you can make your own little ones like these to take with you. Okay, so this one was recommended by Barbara Hepworth. So if this was good enough an exercise for her, it's good enough an exercise for us. So don't feel bad about looking like an umpty. Looking upside down is a great way to instantly force yourself to see the landscape in a whole new perspective. You're literally changing what you're looking at. It's all gone the wrong way up <laughs> and you don't know what's going on. And you can't try and sketch something literate because it's abstracted just by turning your head upside down. So give it a go, especially if nobody's around, come on. Nobody's, who cares? Just go for it. Um, and if you feel too uncomfortable about doing this, just try tilting your head to the side or even just a little bit bent over or something and um, whatever feels comfortable for you. A variation on the last exercise is using your hand as a viewfinder. So all we need to do is make a shape with it and use it as you would a binocular. Look through your eye and make it focus in on a specific shape and this will change your perspective on what you're looking at and help you focus in on some details around you. Here we are at the top of Ben Gullipin with an absolutely beautiful viewpoint looking out over Loch Veneker and across to the wider Trossachs. It's recommended that this route should take about two hours. So if you're wanting to try it out yourself, do check out the route guides that I'll put on my website. I really wish I brought a blackjack. Why did I just bring fruit? That was really stupid. So a suggestion of a list of materials that I love to use are charcoal, oil pastels. Um, I've got some Posca pens with me, some like, um, felt it pens. Um, I like to use paper. This can be stuff at your recycling bin. This can be stuff in a sketchbook. I personally like to work loose leaf. That's more comfortable for me. Um, 
Um, so if you're a bit fearful of a sketchbook and it feels like a bit much pressure, then I try. I suggest just trying a piece of paper. What else have I brought with me? Felt it pens, paint brushes, charcoal, oil pastels. That's it. Easy peasy. Simple. If you don't have everything that I've listed uh, in the materials section, don't worry. Just grab a pencil or a pen and a piece of paper and get outside. Equally, you could borrow from a friend or there are lots of materials hubs popping up now. Um, resell pages on Facebook, um, all sorts. There is Free Cycle in the UK, um, all these kind of things. So you can find things on the cheap. So don't let money um, stop you from getting outside and getting drawn. So if you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to learn more about how you can incorporate art, nature and the outdoors into your life more, do stay tuned, hit the subscribe button, give this video a wee like for me so I know if you've enjoyed it and share it with a friend or somebody that you might like to go walking with and sketching with. I'll be doing a whole series of outdoor plein air sketching videos, going into more tutorials on ways you can listen up, ways you can see the landscape differently, all this good stuff. And if you've got any suggestions of videos you might like to see from me, just leave them in a comment down below. Thank you really again for watching and I'm looking forward to making more of these.